Today I am making some cat food. Loves the food. My cat uh, gets ill if it eats dry cat food. It swells up, gets real sick, can't move very good. It was eating wet cat food. It was a high quality wet cat food and it was costing $4 a day to feed the cat. So I thought, well, there's gotta be something else too much for a cat so and it seems to work pretty good my cats ate it for two weeks now and he seems to really like it doesn't seem to be causing many problems he's healthy happy i figured i would share it for those that want a reasonably healthy cat food for an affordable price anyway let's enough talking and get to it broth i'm using vegetable broth today because we had some beef broth chicken broth any broth will work water would probably even work but I just use broth it's just to moisten the recipe at the end anyway not that important vegetables I, I have two bags of these mixed vegetables from Costco that are uh, they've been in the freezer for a long time and I'm not gonna feed them to the family here but the cat he seems to love them so I guess I paid for those but they were waste anyway so I've been feeding those to the cat in this recipe and he really seems to like them they're just uh, a mixed melody of vegetables from Costco Canned turkey. Uh, you can use chicken, turkey. I switch it up. This time I'm using turkey. Last time I used chicken. These cans are a dollar forty, I believe. Good for the cat, I'm sure. A can of salmon. It's slightly larger than the can of turkey, so that's good. Sardines. I use the Brunswick sardines. Protein. Lots of good things for the cat. He seems to love sardines, so that's good. Uh, one cup of dry oatmeal cooked. So it turns into two cups once it's cooked. And chop up two carrots. And he likes them. He always eats the carrots and might as well have carrots. It's better than that cat food from the store. I'm pretty sure it's probably barely safe for consumption. I use a blender. I have a blender. It's not impossible to make the recipe. Just chop your carrots real fine. Mash up your cooked vegetables. These vegetables are steamed. I just steam them in the microwave. A little bit of water, saran wrap. They're already half cooked anyway it seems when they come out of that bag. All you do is take and put your, your carrots in the blender. I only put the vegetables in my blender. I don't put all the fish and sardines in here. I don't want my blender to get tainted with the disgusting fish smell. There you go. Just kind of smashes them up good. Don't take much with this blender and they're finely chopped. One quick whack. So let's go in. And there you go. That's what it looks like. The chopped carrots. And then I'm just going to throw in the mixed vegetables, and there is a little bit of water in with them, and that's fine. It just makes it so the blender works better. Blender on low speed. And there you go. And there's the remainder of the chopped vegetables. There you go. There's your vegetable part of the job. Done. Easy. Let's add our cup of dry oatmeal, which equals two cups of cooked oatmeal still warm. I just cupped it about an hour ago. Just use a fork. Mix her up with your vegetables. I mean, this recipe is safe for human consumption. I wouldn't eat it, but you could eat this and it wouldn't hurt you. There's nothing in here that would be unable for a human to consume. It's all 100% legitimate store-bought ingredients. There's no poisonous fillers and all that, like the cat food you get at the store. Last but not least, our meat. Proteins for a kitty. So I'm gonna do the can of salmon first. There you got her. I think I am going to add a little bit of the salmon juice, but maybe not all of it. Cause I don't want this to get real juicy. So I added a little bit just for ta taste. Oh, I got some on my hand and it's so gross. <laughs> but you know what, that's just the way it goes. I'm sure the cat's going to just adore this meal. Where is the cat? Apparently he's sleeping. He usually gets up when I get fish out. He must be very tired today. Okay, there's the salmon. I'm going to do the can of chicken. And I mean, you could probably just use one can of sardines if you wanted to reduce your cost a little bit more, but whatever. I figured go for it. Here we have chunks of chicken. Again, I'm not going to put all that juice in here. I'm just going to knock the chicken meat out of it because I think it would get too watery if you had that in there. There, I think I got the majority of the meat out. Get that salty broth over there. My cat doesn't need that. 
Give that a little mix. God, that's lots of meat in there now. Yeah, like I think you could probably get away with less meat if you were wanting to try to reduce your costs on your cat food a little bit more. In this case, I think it's fine. This will be good. It'll last my cat a couple weeks and it's still way cheaper than what I used to be feeding him. So, and 50 times healthier in this case, I would say. I'm happy with it. There you go. That's that would probably just be fine, good enough like that, but I'm going to add the sardines yet because my cat really likes sardines. I might just do one can though because it seems like it's getting pretty meaty. Every week I just kind of change it up. I mean, this recipe is very adaptable. The only thing that I really keep the same... Oh, here comes my cat. Maybe he can uh, come tell us what he thinks. Harold! Come on! Come up! Harold! Here, bud. He knows that I'm doing something for him. There he is. This is my cat, Harold. And he's the culprit of the expensive cat food problem. But even now that I know how to make this cat food, it's not even the expense reason that I want to feed it to him. It's just, it's way better for my cat. He has way more energy. And he loves it. Every time I bring it out, he's right there waiting at his bowl to eat it. So, can't be anything wrong with it in that case, but... Here's the sardines. These are just Brunswick sardines in a salt... Or these ones are actually in a soy oil, I guess. I don't know. I just pick those ones. I don't know why. I don't think soy oil will hurt my cat, and I'm not putting the oil in anyway. I'm just picking... It'll be a little bit on them, but I'm just picking the sardines out of the oil. Nice big chunks of sardine anyway. That is quite the cat food. Okay, since I've gone this far, I am going to put the last can of sardines in. Just to ensure my cat's getting the proper supply of proteins he needs. Because he's fairly active. He goes outside just about every day for large amounts of time throughout the day. He's definitely not a lazy cat. He used to be a lot lazy in the winter time. He's fairly lazy, but I'm going to try to encourage him to get some exercise this winter. Look at these nice big sardines. My cat likes those. He's making noises. He can smell them, eh? He loves sardines. He'd eat just sardines if I let him, but I like to put it in with the vegetables and whatnot. And try to make sure he's getting a nice balanced diet. There. The last of the sardines. Bust them up a little bit. Nice thing about sardines is they break up easy. So I just go like that, bust them all up, mix her up again one last time, and there you have it. Pale of cat food right there. Feed my cat for at least a week, if not more. I think I'd probably get a week and a half out of that for my cat. And comparison to what I was feeding them before it's affordable and good for him so happy with it I'm going to give my cat some my cat's just going bonkers. because he knows it's it's time he wants to try it so I'm gonna let him do that and I feed my cat twice a day morning and night this is his morning meal right now and there I feed him about that much twice a day and sometimes a little more it depends but that's about what I do twice a day, and he seems content with that, so I'll call him over here and hopefully he comes and eats it. Oh yeah, there's the boss. Looks like he approves of it as usual. Last time I made it, he, he really liked it. He ate lots of it. Like Every time I bring it out of the fridge, even if I just bring the pail out like this, he's like, he knows it's time to eat. But have a look. Loves the food. I mean... I like feeding my cats healthy meals, and the reason for it is it's less trouble. I mean, when we were feeding him dry cat food, I was having to take him to the veterinarian. He was having all kinds of problems. He was swollen. He could hardly walk. He was severely overweight. He was suffering from constipation. I mean, he was an unhappy cat. He laid around. He could hardly walk. Now I've put him on this, well, I had him on a canned cat food diet of uh, high-end healthy cat food and notice immediate you know improvements in his health but the price of it was just through the roof so after a small amount of research i learned how to make a healthy cat food that uh, is as healthy or healthier than a high quality canned cat food and my cat loves it so why not 
and I hope you guys will try it at home yourselves if you're having the same kind of problem. It cost me about a dollar a day to feed the cat. Probably even a little bit less than that on this recipe. So this batch here that I'm going to make feeds the cat for approximately two weeks. It's costed me around $12 in here, not even. Like a lot of the stuff I already had, so this is very affordable. That's in a gravy sauce, they say. <laughs> God knows what that is. This is a very affordable way to feed a cat and very good for a cat, I'm sure, in comparison to supermarket cat foods. This is way better for the cat. Anyway, enough rambling. Thanks for watching me prepare this cat food today. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it.